Hey guys, before we get this video started, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you find yourself browsing through all my videos. And if you're a first time user or a first time viewer of one of my videos, um, you don't have to do that. But go ahead and watch this video. Hopefully it's really helpful to your business or whatever you're doing. And um, if you do, go ahead and think about hitting that subscribe button so that you can become part of the part of the viewer team. And you're going to find a lot of useful information because I've got a lot of videos coming up in the future. So um, it's going to be really helpful to you. So if you if you want to do that, go ahead. And if not, hopefully this video is helpful and I can change your mind. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Hey, guys, I'm back again today and I'm going to show you how to link up Power Apps to Excel so that you can edit your Excel documents within Power Apps without even opening the, the document itself. So let's get started with first the demonstration. I'm going to show you how it works and then after that I'm going to show you how to make it as well. So two videos in one. Now I'm going to show you the functionality later but um, right here I just wanted to show you the table real quick. We have the name, phone, email, city. That's all going to appear in Power Apps and I'm going to show you later in the video how to format that so Power Apps is going to be able to read it but right now I just want to show you how the application itself works. So here we have the application, our application that we made in the past two or three videos that I have on my channel so far. We've made the generate files, the scanner, and now I'm going to show you this database part of the app. So let's go into there. So here we have our home button, that's very simple, and we have a gallery right here, a very, very simple gallery that pulls the data here from Excel. We use one drive, we use one drive to connect the documents. We have our gallery right here, and we have a form to edit the gallery right here, and we have a save button right there. So I'm going to show you how it works. Um, for Power Apps to work, we have to close out the Excel documents. So whenever you're editing the, the information in Power Apps, make sure your employees or yourself don't have the Excel document opened. Okay, so you saw that information in Excel. Now we're going to change it, and then I'm going to, sh I'm going to show you how it changed in Excel. It's pretty cool. So let's go to a random person here. Let's go to Ben. So we click on this arrow key, and it, his information appears right here, Ben. So we have Ben, his first name, but I want to know his last name. We want to log that information into Power Apps. So let's go ahead and change it. His last name is NG Ning. So, okay, we're going to add that there, and we're going to save it. Little lines up here are going to start moving around. And Ben Ning, it just changed. There we go. So if we open up our file again, Contractors, his name should change. It should change. There it is, Ben Ning. His last name was added. So that's how our application works right now. We, we're changing information in Power Apps, and that changes the information in Excel. This can be really helpful because you can change numbers or names or strings, whatever you want, in Excel in an intake data table. And then you can link that to anywhere else in your Excel documents. So if you're displaying information to customers or consumers within Excel documents, now you can link Power Apps so to your Excel documents, and then that'll automatically change. So it'll be really easy for your employees to work with. As an example, I have a small sheet right here, classic revenue, expense, and net income. You know, it's missing a lot of stuff, but I linked our expenses here to the phone, this phone number. So if this wasn't a phone number, and let's say it was an expense, if I changed it to 2000, I mean, it just it changes directly from um, directly from the data intake. So you can really imagine what you can do with Power Apps and Excel combined. Now that we have that demonstration over with, I'm going to show you how to actually make this application. It's not as hard as it seems, um, but we're going to have to do a little bit of work here. But it, it it really is not that difficult. So let's start off with our Excel data table. So you have to make, you have to have some kind of data table ready to go before um, using Power Apps with Excel. And to format your data table, I'm going to show you here, you're going to need a table, okay? You need, you need to have a table inside of Excel. It can't just be in cells, but you have to have a table. And tables, if you don't know, tables, if you don't know how to make them, they're really easy to make. You just come to insert here, you click on the cell you want to put the table in, and then you can drag where, wherever you want the tables. And you have the columns and the rows, so you can pick whatever you want there. And then you just click there, you press OK, and your table appears. Name the columns whatever you want, and have the data ready, whatever in there you want. If you're adding data and you want to add data to your form, go ahead and enter one example piece of data. So if this is name, for example, enter your name. If this is phone, enter a phone number. And then, yeah. And just be sure to name your table also so that you can find it easily within Power Apps once we connect it. Uh, just name it to whoever. So, for example, this one, uh, my table's name contractors here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and delete this table because I already have one in here. But you keep yours and format it to however you would like. There we go. Okay, so I have my table. I entered the columns and um, my name, whatever I need there. So don't worry about this. This will appear automatically once you link your app together, but this is just my example document. I'm going to go ahead and remove, oh no, I'll keep the sheet. Okay, now make sure you save your Excel document into a OneDrive folder so that we're able to go ahead and link that to Power Apps, and I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you where I saved mine just to, sh just to let you know so that you can see where, where that is. So it's in my OneDrive, it's in my videos, and it's it's literally just sitting there. That's It's just sitting there, okay? So you can put that in there, and then we're going to be able to link it to Power Apps. So let's go ahead and open Power Apps up. Okay, so here we have Power Apps about to open up, and I'm going to show you how to make this not from data, but well, it is from data, but I'm going to make I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch, just in case you already have an application, so that's going to be easier for you to follow and easy to see. There are easier ways to make this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it from scratch, so everybody can see how to make it from wherever their application is currently. So Canvas from blank. Let's go ahead and make that tablet or phone. It's your choice. I'll go for tablet because I'm on a computer right now. And let's do Excel transformation. I don't even know why. Let's go ahead and name it Excel transformation. Okay, create. Our Power Apps is creating. I'll probably skip this part. Okay, so here's our new Power Apps. I'm going to go ahead and skip this because we are already all experts or great learners in Power Apps. Okay, let's go ahead and connect our data first before we do anything. So go to View, Data Sources. Go to your connectors, OneDrive for Business. I'm going to go for my OneDrive. So here we go. Videos. Remember I showed you where my thing was? We're at videos. Oh, no. We're at videos. So I showed you my OneDrive. I saved it right in there. Videos, contractors. It's right there. So I'm going to go to videos, contractors. There we go. So let's click on it. And then it's going to say choose a table. And now remember we named our table contractors. So it's going to appear right here. And we're just going to click on that and connect it. There we go. Now, I'm not going to show you the Navigate screen or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and straight up build the application so you can skip all the, the stuff that you already know that I showed in the last video also. And if you don't know how to, how to do any of that stuff, go ahead and watch my um, previous videos because it tells you everything and it, um, the tutorials on how to do it. So let's assume that you have all your applications done and you're ready to go and build this new application that's going to be able to ex uh, edit Excel documents within your Power Apps. So what we want to do first is create a gallery that we're going to be able to display the information in so that the user is going to be able to see where what they're doing, really. So we just do a generic gallery here. Let's go to our tree view. Okay, there we go. So we have our generic gallery, but we have to connect, now we have to connect our um, data from the Excel table into the gallery. So that's really easy. You click on gallery right here, go to data source, and it says none right now. And since we already connected our um, Excel data source to our Power Apps, it's gonna appear right here, and you just click on that, and everything appears here. So the information isn't finished because we need to edit what we wanna see in our gallery. So let's just go for the classic title, subtitle, and body. So it's saying Overland Park, United States Finance. No, I don't want to see that. I want to see their names. Let's see. For their first title, I want their name. There you go, Henry. Fuka, Ben. Okay, now I don't want to see their country. It's pretty obvious. Let's, let's see the department. Finance. Okay, that's the same already. Let's change the body to, let's say, their email. I want their contact information. Okay, that's simple enough. And you're not limited to three uh, data in information here. You can just copy it. You paste it. There we go, it's in the gallery. Make sure it's in the gallery tree. And you can move that however you want. And then that's gonna be, that's gonna appear right here so that you're gonna be able to edit it. You go to gallery, fields, and then right there, your new one, body one, underscore one. Uh, highly recommend changing your names again, but just for speed, I'm not gonna do that. Email, no, I want their phone number also now. And there we go, all the phone numbers are changing. Okay, now, how do we edit the information Excel? We're going to use forms. So let's go to form, insert, forms, edit. It's really easy to link these together. It seems difficult at first, but actually Power Apps makes it really, Microsoft has made it really easy for this to use. So we inserted our form. It's not, we didn't link it to anything yet, but so let's do that. Data source, none. Let's change it to contractors again. 
So once we pick contractors for our data source, we're going to have to add fields so that our form can be automatically created. It's pretty easy. You just click on whatever you want. Um, let's say I don't really want to know the country. It's really easy. So I'm not going to click on that. And you can choose everything if you want. So everything is here. Microsoft made that for us. And you know, you can, you can edit these, these boxes however you want, but um, that's not the point of this video. I'm just showing you how to make that Excel connection with this video. So you guys can do that on your free time. Um, but okay, now here's our form. It's connected to contractors, but we've got to connect it to our gallery now. So our data source is contractors, that's right. Now we got to go to right here. Make sure you selected forms over here. Make sure you selected the forms right here. Let's scroll down to item. And to find our item, all we have to do is link our gallery. So our gallery name right here is gallery one. So we're going to type in gallery one dot selected. And that's going to automatically be able to um, link whatever we select in our gallery and then show that in our form. So for example, I'm pressing alt right now, by the way, I'm going to press alt. And when you press alt, the power app automatically goes into live mode and it shows you how to do it. So if I press alt, as you can see, it changes. So I'm going to press this, make sure it works. There we go. The name changed. I think the name changed. Okay, cool. It works. Good stuff. Now, the final step is to make a save button so that when your information, when you type in new information in these edit fields, the information saves. So it's easy. Just go make a new button. There we go. Button. Let's call it save. And all we have to do is one thing to make this work with everything is we go to the on select right here, make sure you're, you're on the button and you go to the on select on the left side right here and make sure it's on on select. And all you have to do is say submit form and then link it to the form, which is called form one. So just type in form one, enter. And you know what? Everything should work. Whenever we change information in this right here and we press save, our Excel document should change accordingly. So let's go ahead, save it and test it out. Save. Um, yeah, let's call it save. Excel transformation, save it, save it to saving to Power Apps. Um, okay, it's saved. Now let's try to open it up in our Power Apps. Now let's test out how our application works and if it's all good, then you guys are ready to go and make your Excel Power App automations. So it's called the Excel transformation, there it is. Opening, downloading. And if you guys ever need any help with um, Power Apps here, go ahead and shoot a comment down below or email me at admin at The email's in the description. And I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to help you guys in anything you guys need. So let's test our app. Let's test our app out now. So I want to change Anthony's information. Now he's in software development and that's his email. Let's say Anthony got a promotion. Now, instead of software development, he's I don't know, CFO. That makes no sense, but let's go ahead and do it. So, um, no, that's his position. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's save it. Got the little dots on top. That means it's doing something. Okay, so it disappeared. Theoretically, his department should change to CFO now. So let's go ahead and open, and open our contractor's file. And let's see if his department changed to CFO. If it did, our app is good to go. And there it is, department, Anthony, CFO. And that's how you change Excel information within Power Apps. Thanks for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you found it really useful. And if you need any help with your Power Apps, you can contact me at admin at intellica.com. Hope maybe I'll put it right here, but if not, it's in the description. And um, also, be sure to check out my other videos. If you found this one really helpful, you're going to find other ones helpful. They're all free. They're all free tutorials that are going to give you really good, useful information that are really applicable to any part of your business, most businesses at least. And um, I hope they're really helpful to you because, I mean, it's free information. Who doesn't love free information? Thanks, guys. Have a great day.